We're Rich Side Canine Guys coming to you with one of our Sunday group classes. This is unscripted. These are real clients working real dogs with real issues. Again, we'll always say, guys, it's not about what a dog trainer can do for your dog or with your dog. It's what you can do with the dog after training is completed. It's never the trainer. Pay close attention, guys. This is a very game-driven pit bull that I'm working to the right. This dog, uh, for the owners, will lunge, backflip, do what it's doing right now, right? This is the first time we're working it. Um, Got to get his attention right there. Again, there's no abuse going on, guys, but I can't let the dog kill another dog. So one of the fallacies of all positive, R-plus only training is that these those trainers do not train dogs like this. They do not do it. They'll either recommend heavy doses of narcotics, euthanasia, but nobody will actually say, hey, let's actually train the dog, make it quiet, show it a different response, give it some different options, and truly train the dog, right? So that's what we're doing here. Now, this is a big red flag that really tells us all we need to know. This dog is taking food and ignoring its urge to fight to retrieve food. Um, that's all we need to know. This is not a hyper-aggressive dog. It's just a dog, dog that enjoys to fight. And again, we always put human emotions on things and we forget that to some pit bulls, to some driven gamey dogs, they truly enjoy fighting. It's a fun activity. So if he can have fun and or take food, he's gonna make the option. So right now he's telling us that food outweighs his drive to dog fight. That's amazing, it's awesome. It tells us all we need to know. There's a lot of light at the end of the tunnel for this specific dog. So again, right now guys, now that the dog understands the food game, I need to really explain what's happening as far as control goes. I am simply working the leash. Uh, Rich I can on Perry, we are actively working the dog on place right now and everybody else. So as I was saying, Perry is working the remote control, the e-collar, I'm working the leash. Perry is an incredibly skilled, long time, he's been doing e-collar work for 20 years. We're working on incredibly low level, uh, level two, level three, momentary bumps on a Sport Pro. So barely over what you can actually feel on the human hand. That also tells us all we need to know. You can see the owners of this dog behind the glass window right now. They're kind of in disbelief. They said later they were actually in disbelief because again, if the owners were holding the leash, the dog is bouncing, lunging, trying to fight, dragging everybody everywhere. So what we have to do sometimes as actual professional dog trainers is grab the leash and show mom and dad another option. If you're training with a dog trainer and they're terrified of your dog, they won't touch your dog, they won't get around you with the dog, please leave, go find a new trainer. Find somebody that understands aggression, understands how to work through it, understands what's true aggression, forward aggression, projected aggression, reactive aggression, blah, 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 and how to actually work with you and the dog in that mind state, right? So we're in and out, in and out, in and out with the dog. Um, it's short little exposures, guys, a couple minutes. So at the end here, we're doing what we call a power circle or a debrief circle, and we have the dog surrounded right now completely, and he could care less. He's taking food. Now, there's a game-driven pit bull directly in front of this pit bull. You'll see it here in a second. One has a muzzle on, the brown one doesn't. The brown knows that I'm working. I can control 100% with a slip lead and low e-collar uh, pressure. You're going to see a brown pit bull to his left and a full muzzle on a very short leash where the husband has the leash and the collar, the mom has the food. Both dogs are taking food, but the dog to the left is a dangerous dog by definition. He will fight immediately, no questions asked, no hesitation. The dog I'm working, as you can clearly see, can function around other dogs. It's just a matter of having absolute control. So one thing we say a lot of times is not all dogs are for all people. That's the truth. However, in this case, this pit bull can 100% be with mom and dad. It's just a matter of getting mom and dad to the educated level where they can actually control the dog. Um, and again, here you can see, guys, loose leash, picking up food off the ground, handing it back, ignoring the dogs, ignoring the urge to fight. Doesn't mean he's rehabilitated, doesn't mean he's safe. My God, he would fight right now if we let him, but it does mean he can be managed. Here's some still shot photos that were taken that day. Um, again, this is all we need to know. Completely loose leash, the dog is taking food in the presence of other dogs and ignoring the urge to fight to consume food. That is not an aggressive, dangerous dog. It's a dog that doesn't understand no, needs better boundaries, needs better um, associated neutrality and stability training, but it is not a dangerous, aggressive dog by any means at all. Anyway, that's it. Rich Side Canine, how can we help you and your dogs bring out the best in your dogs and bring out the best in you guys combined as a team?